from Louisville. WDRB News in the Morning starts now. Well, the first day of summer means more boats on the river and water safety becomes a bigger concern. Keith Kaiser is finding out what the Louisville Fire Department's rescue boat is all about. Keith. When you're on the river, you, know, you might want to have this thing backing you up if you're getting in trouble, but we want to make sure you're not in trouble while you're out there enjoying the summer, enjoying boating. Uh, Captain Salvador Melendez here with the uh, Louisville Fire Department. Now, we're talking about boat safety. You know, right. people, right. it's summertime, ready to go. Ready and to so go. what are some basics? What, what should people know before they get out on the river? Well, first and foremost, make sure that your boat is mechanically sound. Uh, take it to a mechan boat mechanic and have it checked off. Make sure that it does work. Uh, the day before you plan the trip, make sure that it, again, make sure that it works again. Once you're on the water, there's a series of things, there's a number of things that you have to have on the boat in order to keep yourself and, and your family or those that will be traveling with you safe, such as you're wearing one. Just like this. Every occupant on the boat should have one on at all times. Should now you there, go There's some, some boaters say, oh, I got it in the boat. I got it stored away and ready to go well, if there's something happens. that's not where it works. It works on your body. Uh -huh. You have to have it on. If you go overboard, uh, you're protected. Yep. And yeah. you were talking about colors too, bright colored ones. You got the right one. Yeah. So I wonder where you got that. I, so and some guy gave it to me. <laughs> uh, now, audio, audio, audible devices too audible to, devices. to help out. This is a whistle right here. Just a simple whistle. It's really right loud. I'm not going to blow it, but it's really <laughs> loud. But we, you can also, boats uh, have horns on yeah. them and make this sure that they got, work. This one's got a horn too. All right, a series. <laughs> party down here by the river but these guys are not ready to party these guys are going to help you out if there's a situation that happens which you don't want to happen so absolutely, protect yourself absolutely not and you know first and you know important that uh it's like the drinking and driving thing yeah. uh, it applies in the water too yeah. so make sure that you you boat responsibly and we're talking about lighting too on your boat if you're, if you're at dusk you know uh or maybe at night you want to have the appropriate lighting on your boat that's part of that checkoff list that you have to make sure that your lights your navigation lights uh, on the boat are are operating. So, well, we want to see what this bad boy is going to do. So, throughout the morning, we're going to see what features are on this boat. And uh, and if you're out on the river and you're in trouble, these guys might just scoot up right there and help you out. So, we'll learn some more about the uh, the rescue boat here with the Louisville Fire Department and some more things to keep you safe on the river because it is boating season again. Lindsay, very cool, Keith Kaiser. Looking good in that life vest. Well, with the warm weather comes more days out on the Ohio River. Keith Kaiser is getting some water tips today from the Louisville Fire and Rescue Department. Keith, anchors away. What have you learned? Well, I'm learning a lot of stuff about this boat here, which is pretty much a fire truck on the water. I'm going to go. Permission to come aboard. I'm going to go aboard here and see what's happening with this, uh, this fine piece of machinery. I'm going to come along here. Now, the blue LEDs, I, Sergeant Kevin Brown, do they have a purpose, or are you just, they, they look fancy? They just look good, so you can walk around. <laughs> yeah, I know you do have to have that. If you're out here at night doing something, you got to have some some uh, some vision there. So what, what will this baby do? Well, it's uh, this boat is for fire suppression mainly, and we do a little bit of dive off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, this fire boat was designed for that, to be a fire suppression boat on the river. So pretty much a fire truck on the water pretty much yes and then uh when we come back will you will you let us fire up the uh the monitors i just learned that they're called monitors yes so we know fire. why they're called monitors i guess because that's what someone would call them monitors yes. that's right that's why they do <laughs> so we'll have some more from the uh louisville fire and rescue team and this rescue boat on the river hopefully you don't need it but it's here for you we have more on wdrb in the morning summer means fun in the water but keith kaiser is out with the louisville fire department to learn more about water safety today. And Keith, we want to know if that big boat behind you has a name. This thing will uh, will help you out if you get in trouble. Okay, Kevin, Sergeant Kevin Brown, fire that baby up. Let's see some of this, uh, this pressure we have on this fire truck on the water. We'll see what kind of power it has and how it can protect you and how you can be safe on the river during the boating months coming up on WDRB in the morning. Everybody in the studio agrees we want to see you in the water by the end of the morning. <laughs> Demonstrate well, a rescue. It, it, could, <laughs> it could happen. I, I'm, I'm swaying back and forth on the river here. I could just fall right over, but I, I'm in good hands because these guys are here ready to help out whenever they can. And we're going to go inside the cabin here and see what uh, Sergeant Kevin Brown is doing at the helm of the ship. And so 
So Kevin, what what is this? What is what is these this area here? Do you feel more comfortable in this area than anywhere else? Oh, most definitely yeah. I do very much. This is where well all the operation of this boat goes on. We got the person who does the pallet of the boat, and we also have a pump operator who operates the pump. Of course, the monitor and the roof monitor and the hand lines we got in the back. So we're calling this a fire truck on the water, and that's pretty much what it was built for from the ground up. Yeah, pretty much a fire pumper. It's a fire yeah. engine on yeah. the water, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I want to get a look at the uh, at the spray out there, Eric. Go out there and go around and take a look at these. Don't trip, though. We don't want you going over the edge. But right out here, what are we looking at? How many, how many, how many gallons of water can this thing output? This thing can put out about 2,000 gallons a minute. Right now, we're only working at right now. we got about 300, uh, 400 gallons a minute going right now so we can hear it here. Because as you uh, increase the pressure, it's going to get louder in here. Yeah. So, But uh, about 1,000 gallons a minute on the, de on the, on the bow, and we've got 1,000 gallons on top on the roof monitor as well. All right, I'm going to start moving, moving this around. Can I move it around? Yeah, go ahead. Here we go. Oh, and then... Ow! Yeah, go up on it right there. There you go. I right, make it okay. a little higher. Now, one thing, too, is that you can hook a hose to this and use it as a pumper to pump water on shore. Right, correct. That's why we have a, a discharge right there. We can supply another pumper. We say if we had an earthquake or something like that, some type of disaster, we can get water to a building that's on fire. If a water if our water main went down or something like that, you got an unlimited supply of water, we can supply it to a pumper, an upper, another pumper to another. So, yeah. Now, still, uh, you, you guys mac this out. Very nice with the blue LED lights. Yeah, LED lights are nice. Yeah. Is it they serve a purpose? Uh, for lighting and uh, ambiance. Oh, it's, it's nice looks too. So <laughs> I like the blue LEDs. Yeah, they're, they're on the running on the inside here and running on the outside of the boat too, right. for for safety's sake yeah. and to look good and cool. Good. Uh, but th this is pretty neat operation here. But you want to be safe on the river. You don't want these guys coming to help you out. You know, you want to be safe on the river. But if you do get in trouble, they're there for you and to make sure that that fire goes out. Hey, Eric, can you see me? I'm probably right here in the window. All right. Yeah. Hey, and so when we come back, we'll talk more about water safety and being safe on that river because it is the first day of summer, and you might get that boat out there and uh, and get in trouble, but we don't want that to happen. Oh, the horn. Do the horn again. Captain hey, everybody. There you go. Some happy neighbors, I'm sure, who aren't awake yet. Thank you, Keith. We'll be checking in with Thanks you now. Plus, Keith Kaiser, where are you this morning? I'm uh, Riverside, you know, talking about uh, boating safety and how you can protect yourself. We're going to give you some tips coming up on WDRB in the morning. You like? It is the first day of summer, and that means more boats on the river, and so water safety becomes a concern, right? Keith Kaiser is finding out what the Louisville Fire Department's rescue boat is all about. Keith, that's the thing you usually don't want to see, but you're glad it's there in the meantime. So right here, yeah, right behind us, and this thing's like a pumping station on the water. Pumps water out to a fire and a situation mm. that you don't want to be in. And so what we're talking about is boat safety, and one of the big things is the life jacket here. We got uh, Captain Sal Melendez here. Now, now, this is what, what's some tips about some uh, some of the life jackets? Uh, make sure that they are Coast Guard approved. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have weight limits. Make sure that you have the proper one for your weight limit. And then uh, before you get on the boat, before you launch it, there's some things you should go over too. Right, make sure that your boat is mechanically sound. Make sure that it, it, all the parts are in working condition, including your navigation, all your lighting. Uh, some of the things that you have to carry with you, like I said earlier, audible devices such as uh, a handheld air horn, uh, a whistle like this one, a fire extinguisher is a must, a flashlight, uh, and of course, uh, uh, a flota personal flotation device for every passenger on the vessel. Well, we want to make sure that you guys are safe. Uh, audio sound. We got something there? Sergeant Kevin Brown. There you go. Audio signal. You got your fire extinguisher. He's got it. Uh, a flashlight. Make sure you're Look at that. That guy is on top of it. You know, you see a barge going through. Yeah. If you're he out here on the river, you know, make sure you stay out of the way. I uh, know what those channels are. They have a, a design, uh, an assigned channel that they travel through. Do not be in their way. Uh, you know, you can go to the U.S. Coast Guard's website and learn some more tips about boating, boating safety, uh, such as, you know, one of the important things is knowing what the signage means out on the river or if you're out at a, at a lake. Uh, go to the website, find some uh, literature on what these nautical signs mean. And if you don't even don't own a boat, most likely you're going to be on a boat, you know, with a friend or family. Right. And e even if you knew that information, you could help out 
other passengers too. Right, and, and, and as a responsible boat owner, make sure that your passengers are aware of what's going on, how, because it is a different environment. You know, somebody who's just riding along in a boat may need to know how to behave and or, or how how to react to things, or when they see something, hey, what does that mean? Expl try to school them, as yeah. we would say. Try to teach them what, what, what it means to be around on the boat. And we're trying to get you schooled this morning so you're safe out there. First day of summer, you might be putting the boat in or going out boating. We want you to be safe and have a great time out there. One more time. Oh, get in there, Kevin. He, he, he lost his post. Honk the horn. Yeah! <laughs> Lindsay. Ask Sal, we want to know, does that boat have a name? Like Belle of Louisville? A name? Oh, is it called yeah, River does, Rover? Does, does I don't know. Does the boat have a name, Kevin? Yeah, fireboat One. Fireboat One. Oh, we, gotta we come need up something, something flashier than that. Yeah, we got to go. The, the Firefly. The, the, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 soup, the super hot boat. We'll work super on it. Boat. We'll work on it. Thank you. <laughs> so with the warm weather comes more days out on the Ohio River. Keith Kaiser is getting some water safety tips from the Louisville Fire and rescue department. Keith, what you got there? Well, I got a scuba tank on the back. It weighs about 90 pounds. If the guys have to go into the water and help anybody out, they got to wear this. And they've got a pumping station on the river. It's a rescue boat. And now we have a boat in distress right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh our boat is on fire. We need help. I hope there's a rescue boat nearby. About 2,000 gallons per minute that this thing can unload on a situation, <laughs> he's gonna blow it all the way across. <laughs> we'll see where this is coming from, right over here. We're gonna go on the river with the rescue boat and see how it works, coming up on WDRB in the morning. Oh, this is heavy. means fun in the water, but Keith Kaiser is out with the Louisville Fire Department learning more this morning about how to stay safe out there. Keith? Well, Louisville Fire Department, you got to be ready for anything, especially on the water. We're out on a rescue boat right now. We'll see what this baby can do coming up on WDRB in the morning. Mike, on this first day of summer, it means more boats on the river, and that means water safety now becomes a bigger concern. Our Keith Kaiser is finding out what the Louisville Fire Department's rescue boat can do. We're on board a rescue boat with the Louisville Fire Department and uh, Sergeant Kevin Brown here at the helm. And so you were talking about, we got the spray going off the top here. You've got to fight it as, as being the uh, the captain here. Yeah, she, well, you got to fight it. We're talking about fighting the, the conversation of the yeah. stream. Yeah, you got to keep it, got to keep it straight. Like right now we're sideways towards the, uh, the current facing towards Louisville and you got to keep it moving. We're flowing a pretty good amount of water right now, so I'm compensating you can see. It's pretty tough, but more practice you can do, you can keep it straight. So. How many gallons of water will this output? Uh, 2,000 gallons a minute with both monitors going at the same time, about 1,000 gallons a minute uh, each monitor. So what are some situations where we need to, to have both of these monitors going at the same time? Uh, bridge fire, we had the bridge catch on fire years ago. Uh, it worked good on that since they're doing the renovation on the, on the, uh, the Big Four Bridge. Uh, any pleasure craft is out here. We had a, uh, uh, a boat catch on fire a couple of weeks ago uh, near Tumbleweed, which it did a good job on that. That was a large size uh, pleasure craft. So yeah, we need the water out here. And you were saying this thing has enough power to get to the top of the bridge, of uh, the Kennedy Bridge over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, on top of the big four, yeah. We, yeah. Want, we don't want to do the Kennedy Bridge right now. Yeah. We're going to work. They probably well, well, you, you charge maybe $5 a car wash. Oh, yeah. We want to do there. Yeah, that'll work. That, this should work. But but this is a pretty big uh, uh, operation here. How many how many guys do you need to be on the boat to make things happen in a, a regular run? Uh, at least four, probably five people will make it work. We got one person operating the boat, piloting the boat. We got another person doing the pump panel. Uh, two guys that probably be for suppression, my hand monitoring, uh, the front monitor. Uh, and you can use somebody with hand lines and we're gonna make an attack on a boat that is on fire, we'll get on it. Well, maybe I could be a part of the crew. I don't know, I guess I gotta go through all the training. But uh, this is a pretty neat operation and we'll have some, uh, we gotta come outside. Oh, it's nice out here, being on the river. So be safe on the river and these guys can help protect you.